So you have a card in your hand yep. of a lucky inventor or pioneer. Could you tell me who you're looking at? Welcome to Black History Mysteries. Today we're going to discuss a hidden gem whose contributions and inventions shaped America in ways you may or may not know. Tune in and see what you're going to learn today. Good afternoon, ladies. Uh, could you tell us who you're holding up in your hand, please? Uh, um, it says Robert Smalls on it. Okay. Have you ever heard of the name, or do you know who that is? I don't. I have no idea. Well, I've seen the back of it, so I won't allude to it. Um, but looks like a nice black gentleman who has some sort of important aspect of history, but because of my lack of education on black history, I have no idea who it is. Thank you. Does anyone else, has anyone else heard of the name at all? Small. Could you tell us who you're holding up today? Um, Robert Small. Uh, okay, have you heard of the name before? Do you, could you tell us who that is? No, I haven't. Robert Smalls, an American politician, publisher, and businessman born into slavery in 1839. When we think about slavery and freedom, many of us instantly think of Harriet Tubman, but most of us have never heard of Robert Smalls and how he freed himself, his crew, and their families during the American Civil War. On May 13, 1862, while the captain and crew officers were sleeping, Robert Smalls and a group of eight men, five women, and three children quietly slipped the Confederate ship CSS Planter out of Charleston Harbor. In just a few hours, Robert Smalls had successfully navigated the ship through five Confederate checkpoints by using the correct signal to pass each one. Once he reached the Union blockade, Robert Smalls surrendered the CSS Planter, freeing himself, his crew, and his family. After this unbelievable act of bravery, Robert Smalls gained public attention, which caused Abraham Lincoln to allow free black men to serve in the Union military. Years after his courageous escape, Robert Smalls became a spokesperson, recruiting African Americans to serve in the Union military. After the Civil War, Robert Smalls went on to become a politician and was elected to both South Carolina House of Representatives and Senate. Black History. Black History. Black History. Black History. Black History. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can get notifications for new episodes.